come back from the future. So we... <sighs> so we got back from Canada. I'm still there? Okay, yeah, I wish, yeah. Got back from Canada a couple days ago. Um, and, you and know, I want, yeah, it was real good. I want to talk about it. What was your favorite part about Canada, the Canada trip? People keep asking me this. Yeah. My mother asked me, my father asked me, Florence asked me, Amanda asked me. Yeah, yeah, Florence and Amanda asked us before it was even done. Yeah. What's your favorite and we part? we were still doing stuff. I don't know, I'm not finished. Yeah. Ask me that. When maybe we haven't done our favorite part yet. That's true. But, I don't know. First off, it's, it was a great trip mm. as a whole. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, but if I had to pick, if I absolutely had to pick a favorite part, I'd say it was the entire day where we did the falls yeah. during the day, and then later at night we went to the uh, Cabane de Sucre, which was the sugar shack. It was the same day. I, I don't know. I feel I, like that was I the same day. I have no idea of what was on the same day. Yeah. Because it all kind of... I feel like that was the same day. I feel like every activity seemed like it was a different day. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. we spent an entire... Was, we, yeah, we spent an entire day at the Sugar Shack. Time was weird, but I really... I still haven't gotten used to it. I'm waking up at, like... I woke up at 5.52 today. Yeah. Thinking that it was, like, almost 7. Yeah. Jet lag. It's going Canadian time. Yeah, I just... I, I really enjoyed the falls. Yeah. And then at the Sugar Shack, it was just... It was really nice. That was the, I, the way I described it in my email to my parents was the most stereotypical Canadian place. Yeah, it was a really Canadian Just feeling experience. Maple syrup on everything. Yeah. Not only that, but all of the people in our group, like it started too before, but really just it solidified at the Sugar Shack. Everybody started to feel like a family. Yeah. Which is cliche to say. Yeah. We were there for six days, but yeah, I, it, yeah. Frank kind of said that, like, this was a really good group, like, other than the, you know, the one thing, there was no real big drama. Yeah. There was no, like, big arguments, which was good. That was refreshing. Yeah. It was a good, yeah, it was a good assortment of people, and we got everybody's number, so yep. we can keep in, keep in touch with them. I've been talking to some people. Yeah. Me too. So, yeah, I'd have to say, and then afterwards, swimming. Yeah. Sauna. Like on that same that same day. I think I, that was. I, I, I probably. Yeah, yeah. It was the same day because I remember yeah. Sally and I were running back to the bus to get. Yeah. Know, to get to the hotel. Sally was running like a. Yeah, like it was something. Like something. <laughs> like something. Because we were in a hurry to get back so we could swim. Because we had to be in the rooms at ten. Yeah. And it was like what was it like eight something? Like yeah. Eight thirty. And so we were running to get on the bus for swimming. Everything just melded into, into each other. Yeah. Overall, there was no, there's uh, looking back, there's no points where I was disappointed or no. bored. Even the only thing that I think could have made it better for me is if I was, if I knew a little more French. Yeah. Like just the just the long uh, guide in uh, that guy, it, yeah. old Quebec. Is that old Quebec? Yeah. Yeah, old Quebec, where it was mostly French. Yeah. Well, I could still get the gist of what they were saying because of like cognates and stuff. I could, I got yeah. the, and then Amanda was helping me out. Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Tim, nice. Hortons. Tim Horton himself, we I, met him. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. He's just a big donut. I choose to believe that Cloud Burger is Tim Horton. Cloud Burger. What a guy. I got a video. See, I have videos from the trip. I don't know how to put those in. I think I'll just, I'll probably already have done this in editing. But I'll just splice them in when we talk about certain things. Like when you just said Cloud Burger, no, a little we'll shot just, of him. We'll give it a perfect transition. We'll just be like, so, let's hear about that uh, cloud. Yeah. 
riendo, riendo. And then it's going to cut back to us singing that. <laughs> like after no, after the to, clip, yeah. then no, it's, it's going, going to, to. Yeah. Burger. Yes. Oh, cuz I said Ario speed oh, God. Fangirl. Um the day after we got back, we were at um you ever been to Robert's Roost downtown? No. Okay, it's a place. It's a <laughs> Is it a good place? Yeah. Good place? Yeah. Well, I had, I, that was the first day back, and I, I had not yet uh, gotten unaccustomed to the big servings, because yeah. usually I have to take something home in a box, and all I took was my hash browns. I had like three French toast, cinnamon French toast things, and they were big, so I finished the whole thing. And I, I could kind of tell that I was speaking in a slight Canadian accent. Yeah. Like, I forget what my parents said. They said somebody was going to do something. I said, yeah, that's a real good idea there. We, we're living there. Mm -hmm. You know? I've been looking into film schools in Canada. I haven't found too much, but yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd really like to move there. We'll go on that road trip, and then I, I'll probably get a job as a mailman. No Mounties. I didn't see any Mounties. Yeah, no. That was a big disappointment. Or Moose. Or, moose, or snow. snow. Every single stereotype about Canada, except for the maple syrup. There was maple syrup everywhere in, like, giant wine bottles. And it belonged there. And it belonged there. It was, it was good. It was strong. What about the bus driver? Bus driver. Was Daniel. Okay, so Daniel... Lay down some facts on him. Lay down some facts. Okay, so he's... He's a great guy. He was... At first, I was skeptical... Like, as always, you get on the bus, there's some bus driver, like, you don't want to have a bad, shaky, you don't want to have a bad bus driver, because no. that can ruin a trip. But over time, it was just, he grew on everybody. Oh, you gotta pee? He's peeing. It's really weird. I don't, oh my god. Oh my god. That makes me so happy. There's no tires in the back. Well, that makes me sad. You yeah, sit on it? I'm Daniel. <laughs> oh, don't throw it back. I'm gonna solve it. Oh, oh. That was weird. He just went over there and he stood in a weird position. He raised one finger at me and he looked, he just made eye contact with me while he farted. That's true. He just you made the sternest of room. eye contact. The room by the end. The room. The room. Le room. It's tearing me apart. La chambre by the end of the trip was musty. It was bad. It was bad. Cause it Chris was like Chris was letting them go left and right. Chris was just it was all Good over the place, God. and then it smelled like chlorine in there well, from I the did, yeah. Well, the second time we went to the pool, I didn't even put my stuff up to dry. I just tossed it in the bathroom. And it was still wet when we left. Yeah. Uh, oh, anyway, Daniel. Daniel, yeah, back to him. Yeah, so he... He would, like... He would wander in and out of everyone's conversations. He would just kind of drift. Yeah. And everybody knew him by the end. Everybody enjoyed his company. Best life advice. And he, yeah, he would come in. He would come into a conversation. He would listen for a few minutes... He would just kind of nod along. He would have yeah. some things to say. And then he would give some great life advice. And then he would leave. Yeah. But it wasn't like pushy life advice that got annoying after a while. You just wanted to hear more. Honor, humility, and respect. Remember those three words and you'll be fine. 90% of the things we stress about will not happen. Real fun costs nothing. No matter what happens in life. <laughs> I just scratched my teeth on it. Ah. Oh, that hurt real bad. No matter what happens in life, keep on smiling. He was just full of those. And it was great. And then he would, uh, if, he, if he heard some, like, noises from the back of the bus in support of a song, he would he just, cranked it. he would just crank it right up. And then there was one time we were driving, and he cranked the music right up, and everybody was singing along, and he was I up in the front. Cut to some clips of that.
And he would just, he was flicking the lights on and off. I'll play the audio. And people were singing, and like, he was, his hands were not on the wheel. No. He was just clapping above yeah. the wheel, above his head. Mm. The night we were at the Sugar Shack, the guy asked him to come up on stage and perform. And he did. He got up there, and he was actually a really was good amazing. singer. Amazing, yeah. Yeah, and it's the final countdown. Now you can't see it, but he's flickering the lights. Yeah, back the, the music. That's that's what it sounded like inside the bus. Yeah. The song, and then everybody's singing along, and he was just lights were on and off yeah. with the music. It was great. Like shake it off. What about? Fl- Give me the ox score, that's all. Mm. What about Florence? Florence was... A little annoying at first, as all tour guides sort of are. Yeah. But she grew on everybody too, I think. Yeah, she she seemed to have a lot of fun. Yeah, especially at the Sugar Shack. Especially at the Sugar Shack. She was energetic. Her energy was rivaling that of Amanda. Yeah, and that's something. Amanda drinks so much coffee that I think her heart must be like... Just a bottle of coffee. Just a little coffee pot. Just like the, you know the drum beat from Wipeout? I think that's just her heartbeat. Yeah. She she wound up actually being a lot of fun, and she had a lot of fun with us. And now we're friends with her on Facebook. Yeah, we're friends with her on Facebook. I'm friends with Daniel on Facebook yeah. as well. And I saw that Daniel actually, um, he's had a few things posted about like karaoke nights that he goes to. Apparently that's a regular thing for him. That explains why you're so good. Yeah. Which, I mean, that's no surprise. What do you think's his stage name? Danny Boy. Danny Boy. DJ Danny. DJ Danny. Oh, my Lanta. What a great trip, in general. Yeah. There was a pirate thing. (laughs) There was a pirate thing that I thought I was going to hate, and then it was not bad. A minute left. A minute. Which is bad for me in editing, because when I started that, it said that I could film for 16 minutes. There's one minute left. Oops. Yeah, I think as a wrap-up thought, all I can really say is, uh, tuk, tuk, tuk. That one's for you, Chris. Oh, and, uh... Je uh, don't say. Also, um... Uh, Grandma! Yep. If Grandma meets Jesus tonight... <laughs>